Lift your heads up. Look around this locker room. Yeah? Look at everybody else in here. And I want you to be grateful that you're going through this sad moment with all these other folks. Because I promise you, there is something worse out there than being sad, and that is being alone and being sad. Ain't nobody in this room alone. The last thing before we go tonight, you are not alone. As many people around the world know by now, Apple TV's Ted Lasso is not just a show about football. While Ted and the gang make us laugh, they also remind us of our shared humanity, the importance of taking care of each other and protecting our mental health. Today, they brought their important message across the pond and into the real world for a meeting with President Biden at the White House. Trent Krim, who introduced himself as a fake journalist, was in attendance when Coach Lasso, a.k.a. Jason Tudekis, addressed the briefing room. Here is some of what he had to say. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter uh, who you voted for, we all probably, I assume, we all know someone who has, uh, or have been that someone ourselves, actually, that's struggled, that's felt isolated, that's felt anxious, that has felt alone, right? And it's actually one of the many things that, that uh, believe it or not, uh, that we all have in common as human beings, right? And so um, that means that we, it, it's something that we can all, you know, and should talk about with one another when we're feeling that way or when we, when we recognize that in someone feeling that way. Uh, so please, you know, we encourage everyone, and, and this is a big theme of the show, is like to check in with your, you know, your neighbor, your coworker, your friends, your family, uh, and, and ask how they're doing. And, and listen, sincerely. You know, I mean, you all ask questions for a living, but you also listen for a living. So, you know, who am I preaching to? The choir, that is. Okay. Um, and look, and while, look, while it's easier said than done, I, I, we also have to know that we shouldn't be afraid to ask for help ourselves. And that, that does take a lot, especially when it's something that has such a, a negative stigma to it, such as mental health. And it, it doesn't need to be that way. And if you can ask for that help from a professional, fantastic. If it needs to be a loved one, equally as good in a lot of ways, because sometimes you just need to let that pressure, that, that pressure valve release. Uh, the president is working on, and his, and his own team, although his team is real, our team is make-believe. Uh, I don't think I don't know that. Despite what the people at FIFA and EA will tell you, we are actually a make-believe team. But, uh, you know, they're working very hard to make sure that, the, that, you know, that option is available to as many Americans as possible. Uh, now, look, I know in this town uh, <laughs> a lot of folks don't always agree, right, uh, and, and don't always feel heard, seen, listened to, yes? But I truly believe that it, we should all do our best to help take care of each other. That's, that's my own personal belief. I think that's something that everybody up here on stage believes in. That's, that's things we talked about in the writer's room, and we talked about in the editing room, and everything in between. Uh, and just like, you know, we just want to emulate, you know, these make-believe folks that we all play at AFC Richmond and, and the way they take care of one, one another. That is the wish fulfillment of the show, aside from me playing coach and these guys being professional footballers. You know, that's like, you know, that's, that's, that's a big part of the show. <laughs> Some wise words from Coach Lasso to take us off the air tonight. 